Money, man. This is me, man. TV ain't got no temperature, dog. And it's the lyrical lounge. The lyrical lounge. What's good? It's your boy Matt. It's boy Jay. Listen, we got none other than the bitch eyes. Yeah. Get him, what's Jay. Up? On, what's up, y'all? Back again with the platinum chin. <laughs> For sure. Listen, before I even get started, like I I I I say this. I, I walk around the crib, my crib saying this, like, come on, man. Like it goes, uh, Roll out the red car. Cover, let the bugles blow. Pimp deserves a grand intro. You don't know? I know you sick of bubble gum rappers putting you to bed, but not JT Money. Something like a suit affair. I get relief that's far from lousy. And get the job done without getting you drowsy. Since I'm from the bottom, northern rappers try dissing. But in the end, my prophecy, nigga, prophecy. I mean, brother. Before we even go farther than that, like, um, because we, we, we go in into the middle of the, the 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 interview with this, but you say it's prophecy, but you have a song that that j- you recently dropped, Miami Mount Rushmore. You say yeah. the same thing in the beginning. What I say? Well, you said uh, Tupac and Biggie. Yeah, and then you said you're the only one in the South. Yeah, they used to listen to me, man. They 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 had they all had yeah. Poison Clan albums. They all had a Poison a favorite Poison Clan song. Did yeah, true story. They tell you what it was. What was their favorite Poison Clan song? I don't know. When I met Pac, he was singing I Ate Hoes, and he told me about Action. I want Action. I never shit, met Biggie. I, told you, action I never met Biggie. Shit. I just heard about Biggie from Luke and other people who done seen him. We, we was talking about Action. I didn't know Action had two, you had two versions of Action. Why yeah. two versions of Action? I just like that beat. And I, was, I was on fire. <laughs> I, you know, when you're young, you got plenty to say, plenty to go yeah. out. Them lyrics just move. Yeah. Yeah, go ahead, Jay. Um... I don't even know where to start. I just remember, first off, thank you. For sure. Thank you for having me, brother. But I remember as a kid, I mean, I'm, I'm only 30, but I remember going to like summer camp and I was too young to understand music, but the <laughs> camp counselors was bumping your shit all the time. Old problems, action. Wow. Who that, oh, who that was a ruckus in a summer camp, bro. I just yeah. want to give you a flower for that for sure, man. Thank you. That was the biggest one to date. <laughs> But shake what your mama gave you was the strong. It's been a and, long and, time. Uh, 92, 93. 92, yeah. Oh, Coming out, uh, that, since that was like one of your biggest, uh, bi- uh, that was coming out of Miami Bass. We already know that's the influence yeah. of, of Uncle Luke. What made you go away from Miami Bass? What, what made you want to be different from everybody? Well, I was always different from everybody. Um, I only did that because I was on Luke Records. Yeah. I did that to make a Miami record, just yeah. like if you listen to Two Low Light Mothers, we had Dance All Night. That was the only record that sounded like that. Yeah. Poison Mentality, Shake Was Mama Gay yeah. was the only record sound like that. Yeah. You know, and you go to the, the next album or Sign Me Up or something. We always had, we always do one to represent the crib. Yeah. Yeah. But you know, we was real MCs yeah. in our days, you know? It was all about yeah. expansion. Yeah. yeah, right. So we was, you know, telling our stories, doing our thing. Is there any like features that you had that never made like any of your albums that you could probably speak on? Not really. Um, so we didn't do features before y'all made features popular. You know what I'm saying? It was our crew and their crew. We heard records. It, we wasn't mixing and mingling. You know, we see each other at shows, but it wasn't, let's get in the studio. Listen, funny story. Bushwick told me this in 93. He like, no, Jay, we supposed to get together and do it. That way your fans and my fans. He said that in 93. Rest in peace, Bushwick Bill, ghetto boy. But, you know, I, I heard him, but I ain't him. You know, we was hanging out. We blowing and doing what we do. You know. First time rapping. I guess in front of a couple of people is that Mad Boss basement. Well, yes. My name, homeboy. Well, very man. first time. The very first time. Yeah, man. I had my little book and, you know, I said it to him in school, but then that boy, come on, Jay, do your thing. I thought I was rocking, boy. <laughs> and like this right here, basement full of us. Yeah, man. Right, Jay. Um, we made it. Mama, we made it. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's funny that you say about just just making music, not really networking for features and stuff. Because when mm-hmm. I hear action, I hear like multiple of samples. So it's just like just right. kind of just creating sounds. And, and that's how we made music. Like some of our records, Luke would just be like, "Damn, man, y'all want to save some money for it? yourself." Yeah. My my friend was a DJ. My friend was the producer. Like we listen to low like mother. 
Each song had one sound, but then you know, he was scratching. Mike put two and three on it. We'll start with this loop here and add that for a breakdown and this coming in yeah, the background. Cause, yeah, because I hear it and I hear yeah. on action, I hear a little snippet of like Buddy De La Soul and I hear like the reggae with it. You know, it's just a multiple yeah. of sounds. Right. But it's funny though, because I was talking to Breeze a second ago mm. and I think you kind of birthed some pre crunk stuff. If you think about of it, who that is like? Of course, like, like yes. Listen, somebody told me they say, "Man, Jay, how I feel to have one in each genre." Like you got, you got your gangster music, you got your your bass hit, you got your crunk yeah. records. I'm like, well, thank you. But Southern Soul coming next. <laughs> well, no, I'm finna create a whole new genre of reason like that. Oh, new yeah, he straight immortal. You know what I'm saying? But immortal coming soon. But right after that, though, whole new genre: soul, funk, and bass all in one. Since you're bringing up Immortal, yeah, why why the name Immortal for your new album? I, I've, I've been living long through this music, man. I think the music going to live. The music always been bigger than me. Yeah. Like, they yeah. always knew the songs, but they ain't never know who made them yeah. songs. They're like, well, damn, you made that too? Damn, you made And I'm just like, hey, man, I'm the underdog, you know, ghost. The real, the real ghost. Since you talk about longevity, do you feel like you get your credit? Because you have... Uh, you have a stamp with getting, you know, having DJ Toon, mm-hmm. Tricky Stewart getting his first mm-hmm. number one record. Do you feel like people give you your credit? Um, those who know, they know. Uh, I think the people, the people, they don't really know exactly like my, my real contributions to the game, but. For me, that's neither here nor there. I feel like time reveals all. Yeah. Like if they ain't get it today, the they'll get it tomorrow. Yeah. You know, it's either gonna the truth always reveal itself. It's gonna come out, or somebody gonna finally be in a situation where yeah. they gotta say the truth. Yeah. Well, no, I'm talking about okay, Jay. Yeah, yeah. It was Jay. <laughs> no, but you did you did prove that though. You you did an Instagram post. You showed. Did you see? Right. That? Did like, you see? Do you remember? Cut? Yeah. You've been in a lot of music videos. Yeah, I was done. You was you was doing everything. You was ripping and running. I I also want to, uh, you know, we're in twenty twenty four, but four years ago was the pandemic. Yeah. How? Because you you people a lot of people don't know that you dropped music during the pandemic. Right. How was that maneuvering during the pandemic? I stayed busy doing shows. When the cats were scared to move, I was moving. Yeah. I was in the club, me and the COVID people, we out there <laughs> rocking. I was still getting my money, but I think the music could have gotten lost possibly because I did OG Perspective during that time, and uh, I, which I think is an awesome album. So if y'all ain't heard of OG Perspective, yeah, it's out there. But um, I mean, it's just business as usual, man. I, I, I've been an underdog so long. It's just a way of life for yeah. me, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm 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 the yeah, I'm your favorite rapper's favorite rapper. Yeah, check. I'm gonna yeah. smile at that. Well, like talking about the the pandemic, like was there anything else you had to deal with throughout time in regards to like your career? Because I mean, the pandemic's pretty big. Yeah. But was there anything else that yeah, was? Yeah. More... I mean, just the business of this stuff. You know what I'm saying? Um, dealing with situations like. You know, and my career, the way I've always dealt with things, I put myself in a position to uh, make sure I, I got my stuff secured, right? Mm-hmm. That's why you never heard about me getting sued or no junk like that. I leave a situation, I date open that can of worms. Yeah, Definitely all that's gonna, militant, yeah, yeah, all that's gonna do is expose you, and mm-hmm. then, you know, you're gonna make my job easier. But, you know, a lot of that stuff, you know, like with this whole 30 year thing where artists come back to get their whole copyrights. Yeah, right. yeah, I'm on that now. So everything coming back home, you know, I, yeah. just, I just had to weather the storm. Yeah. You know? And you just said something about, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, you just said it about going through a lot, of, going through a lot. A lot of people don't know, you know, you were signed to a lot of people, uh, signed, signed yeah. to someone, we don't have to say their name, but signed to someone during that time. Uh, do you want to get into that about like how was it getting out of that whole situation? You can talk about whatever you want to talk about. Saying, we you talking, were, you we were, conversing. You assigned you assigned a trick. Nah, I ain't never you signed, was, signed a trick. Or you assigned to slip and slide. Yeah, I, I did a, a single deal with uh, Tim from Slip and Slide. It, it was like I'm just signed with no artist. Okay, you know okay. what I'm saying? Um, I was getting ready to give him OG respect. If he wasn't ready to move, I was ready to move. I called him. I said, Hey, man. I mean, um, I'm going to go ahead and do this, man. I just need your blessing. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. He's like, oh, okay, Jay, you know what I'm saying? I got your back. Now let me know. I'm like, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and do this. So, like, Ted, that's my guy. I knew, yeah. I knew this guy since high school, school yeah. you know what I'm saying? And other things. 
But uh, <laughs> you know, it's, it's my dog. You know, and and yeah, what, I don't think rap rap game would be our problem. I, yeah. It ain't enough money for a fight over. Yeah, you know, it's like let me. Yeah, I'm just gonna do what I was doing. We got a we got a lot of people here. Let's say not nobody here, or there's one person that doesn't know you. Someone comes up to you and be like, you know, who are you? What is, what are five songs that if they were to five songs that would represent who you are that would explain who JT Money is? You lucky he said song because I'm finna tell you, Uncle Step Daddy, Dirty Old Man, Bitch Out of Jail, Baby, Pimmin Extreme. You understand? But five songs. Who that? Shake what your mama gave you. Whole problems. Run the yard. Kite to the boys. Chevy game. Come clean or don't come at all. Why cross them? Let's go, man. What else you want? Shine me up. Oh, uh, I want action. I hate hoes. Hoes hate me. Whole stories. What okay. we talking about? Since, since that, hey, the bitch I hate. Yeah. Since that was about? easy, then let's do this then. <laughs> let's, nice let's, sports, let's <laughs> you're starting your old basketball team. Yeah, you can only you can start on. one. I saw y'all do that too. <laughs> when three <laughs> people <laughs> start one, that's cold. Y'all hard. That's yeah, bad. Now, go. now who off in the, who feeling off in the hurt? Now go ahead. You gonna only start bench and cut, right? Poisonous mentality. Oh shit. Um, pippin on wax. Pippin on wax, and immortal. <laughs> <laughs> that's cold. <laughs> That's cold, cause I, I like that order. Yeah, oh, just yeah. But see, Immortal hasn't shown and proved yet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a studio here. We love us. Now, it's more gonna be hard, yeah. man. But poor them mentality, when I say I was started, because that's what started it all. Yeah, you know that's what made the other regions look at us like, oh, them boys down there ain't playing, and that was my purpose. You know, what I'm saying I had to give them that raw pimping mm -hmm. on wax. You know, they was like. Yeah, boy, Jay, you, you did it. You came, yeah. you know what I'm saying? And, and immortal wise, that's been a silly deal. Watch. Yeah. So, um, yeah, we're going to keep them on. We're going to keep them on salary. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Then one of these dudes get hurt, we're going to put him in the game because he's strong now. He's just a high school player yeah. right so now. Yeah. Uh, the starter? Who is going to be a gonna, starter? Put him in the starter. Who's going to bench or who's going to cut? Huh? Who are you going to bench? Pippin' on, on wax or immortal? Nah, man, I'm gonna reach into the salary cap. I'm gonna, <laughs> just say Nobody you have two cats on the bench, man. Nobody no cut it. Cut. No, no. Oh, you gonna, you gonna do a luxury, classics, man. Luxury, luxury tax on the... Uh... Yeah, I'm gonna have to pay that tax. <laughs> he said we getting LeBron even then, and Bosch. Right, LeBron even, and even with the... Um, <laughs> see, returning to be out, that's another one. Like, yeah. I, in my career, I know which one's, like, mm -hmm. monumental. Like, ornament tally, pippin' on wax, returning to be out and, and finna be this one, cause this is all right. This the most features I've ever had on one album with other artists, and you know, pretty big name features. And um, you can name them. I know. I know. We seen CeeLo. We seen. Yeah, him. see that video coming, and you know, we still got me, Trick, and Ross. We ain't do the video. We are gonna probably do it this week while I'm here at the crib, and then uh, Eight Ball and MJG. I just gotta get them boys down. Wait, you said bottom. you got Eight Ball and, and MJG. MJG. Yeah, that thing cold. What a pimp by. I'm talking about it's so cold. I'm talking about. I used to tell Cash, you ain't heard a real pimping since pimping on wax, but now you finna hear it again because I got the. Mm. Yeah, man. that's your first time. I, I don't think you've ever done any record with. Why? Why no. now doing a first, first? Your first time doing a record with them? It's just timing. Timing. You know what I'm saying? Um, you be moving, then they be moving, then you don't see cats for a while. You know. And you gotta remember, I, I've been killing the chilling circuit. Yeah. You know, <laughs> they've been trying to keep me away from the legend tours and stuff. Like I ain't the legend. Like the cats y'all calling legends, legends, like they didn't grow up listening to my music or was influenced by. But hey, man, whatever. whatever. But see, that's just youthful promoters. Like it's where they came in the game, man. So if they come in the game and it's popping now. Nah, they don't know about this. Yeah. You know. You but, think it factors into the way you move because you move militant and you. But, you just yeah. your your music and action speak for yourself. So yeah. do you feel like you. you're not as viral, you know? So it's right. like you, you just move the way you want to. I feel like that's right, and that's freedom way. for me. Exactly. You know, I just do I do what I love. You know what I'm saying? That's the reason I still make records. I just like to make records. I like to create and I like to perform. You know, and then the after party when I turn to Rick James. <laughs> Or, or hey, when I get missing on them boys for <laughs> 24 <laughs> hours, they can't reach me. Okay. okay. I mean, you saying when you turn into Rick James, I think, I think, nah, I mean, I don't know if you're just talking. Wasn't there a concert where, like, you know, there was a girl that came on stage and. And, and gave somebody some neck or something. Yeah. All that stuff happened, man. They get naked. They get, you know, they try, 
I mean, it's the highlight, like stuff like that be so it once upon a time it was so frequent. Um I, I don't you know, like it'll take the mother dudes to be around with that. Jay, you don't remember that man? I'm like, hey, man, it was another day at the office. Like the day it's it's more of a respect thing, mm-hmm. you know, it's unk and it's like they don't even play with me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It, it's love is the love and, and I give it back and I receive mm-hmm. it and we have fun today, you know. Was there uh I know there's a freak nick doc coming out. Do you think you'll be on the freak nick doc? Not on theirs, but I'm putting out my own <laughs> oh, the real wow. JT money story. Cause a lot of them cats who are in there talking, they wasn't there. I ain't see them. Oh, for real? But Damn. you know I was there. You know I helped fire that thing up. All right, 1992, where was you? 91, 90. You see yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 93, where was you? Yeah. 94, let's go. Guess what? No, yeah. I was there in the height of these things. So you about to take out the VHS yeah, on man. me? <laughs> Don't make me call Luke. He was really Ask outside. Ask him why he calling these dudes. Damn. And they call his main man. <laughs> yeah. Just truth. Just truth, truth. man. Go ahead. Yeah. <laughs> make that a clickbait. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Said, the last word you said was bait. Yo, pull that record out. Oh we yeah, pull out. yeah. Courtesy of Found Sound Records, mm-hmm. we had to give you Now who goes? Now how is it, we talking about Freak Nick and Poison Queen, Queen Two Low Light Mother, the Baby Two Low, the Baby Two Low Crew. Listen, <laughs> man. I just so happened to have. Oh, he has I a carry this thing on my back. Oh, he just, probably won't. Uh, oh yeah, we gonna definitely do that. I love this part of the game. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the cover of the record itself. Whatever you want, for it. Hey, Can yo. I go all the way across it? No, yeah. I gotta make it that odd because when the record spin, it ain't gonna work. Yeah. Yeah, man. I gotta put all that on now. I treat money. this shit like trophies, JT, so yeah. I really appreciate that. We are the For the clan. And I, I did buy this record from Found Sound Records. Yeah, where we're, where we're shooting at, so Found it's, Sound. It's only right. We it's appreciate Ralph right. for yeah. opening the doors to us. And thank you for having me, too. Now you gotta let them right. see it, man. You gotta see that thing so they know it's official when when they try to come back at you twenty years later and buy it from you. Mm-hmm. Starting being fifty thousand. With uh, what made you um? Because a lot of people when they you know they drop music they feel like they can't go anymore. Like what what when it comes to writer's block, do you ever feel like you can't write anything anymore? Like you don't have any more things to write about? I've done that before, but it's not true, man. The music speak to me. Mm-hmm. Certain new, or, you know, just everyday life. I might walk down the street and get inspired by something, but I think cats just need to change the atmosphere or or, or, or reach down and get true to themselves. Because, you know, a lot of, mm-hmm. like, me, I'm not a rapper. I'm a rapper. I represent oh, a certain type yeah. of individual. I represent truth, yeah. justice, in the man. No, let me stop. <laughs> you rapping while you talking. You know what I'm saying? I just, yeah, man. So I, I don't think I'm stuck. And then I... I think I, I know so much other music. I mm. still can draw on things. So yeah. I think I'll always be able to if I if I if I can keep this strong. I stop smoking it away. Yeah, I, yeah. Now, that's I think, crazy. You said that because you a real OG. Because I heard Bum B say the same shit. Mm. He said, "Don't get writer's block. You mm. just got to explore mm. and right. just embrace your atmosphere around right, it. Right, and go get it. Yeah, right, because so, it's still." That is crazy that you just said. When you got that in, like, yeah, I think, you know, cats be trying to follow suit or, or so they say ride a wave and then when that wave going down, mm-hmm. he lost. Yeah. You know, like I tell people, I'm like, nah, you don't, don't follow. We set trends, not follow. Write the day for tomorrow. The page, page y'all on, nigga, I'm already gone. You know, I'm just like, like, I got, a, I got a book bag full of stuff that I ain't even record yet. Mm. I done wrote so far ahead. You know, cer- certain lines you might have to update, tighten yeah. up, but it ain't even been used yet. But the right beat, I hear that and it's mm. like, oh, that feel like, you know, it's mm. like jump rope, jumping in or something. I don't know, man. But well, some of that gets on uh, Immortal, for sure. Definitely. Yeah. Yeah. Immortal got a couple of them verses. <laughs> but you're going to know it when you hear it, because that's okay. when they be like, oh, well, that's that OJ. That's what I'm talking about. Because yeah. I always get that, man. Man, what that OJ? Like, listen, oh, you gonna drop like a little couple lines like of homage to previous records or? No, nah, it's, it's the it's the attitude yeah. and the oh. flow of it. Yeah. You know, they think I done grew up and um calmed down yeah, a little yeah. bit, but you know, I just do it better. <laughs> I just do it better, baby. <laughs> Are we getting any uh singing on here? Because I know you said you wanted to sing. Yes, I'm introducing <laughs> Unk on a song called Mo Problems. Oh, okay. That's the oh, new wow. version of Whole Problems. <laughs> you know, you're gonna oh. love it when you hear it though. See, he right. That's that old J. Yeah, yeah. You know, but. 
Yeah. <laughs> JT Money feature. Wait, do you oh, got JT Money feature on oh, on Mo Problem? Sure, yeah. <laughs> Anybody else from the crib you got on uh, Immortal or just those are those are the features that you could you could speak on Eight Ball, MJG, C Lil Green, Ross yeah. and Trick. Yeah, nah, I can't. Uh, well, I got, I got a few young dudes, but they from the crib. They run, you know, like. I actually had cats in the studio that, that, that get with me and they inspire hooks or yeah. a line and be like, oh, gee, yes, you, you know? And I'd be like, yeah, that is kind of hard. Yeah. You know, because I ain't got no problem. Like, yeah. the, the name of the game is the, you want the best product. Yeah. You know, um, I'm so grown and old in this game, like, ego out my way. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. My ego is when I'm gone. But, yeah, now, nothing to mention. Like, me and other cats got records, but it's not a part of this yeah, yeah, yeah. Immortal project. Like, I got the whole Poison Clan on Immortal. Dev, oh, Trust, Man Ball, Uzi, you know? Yeah. And we rocking, man, because that's setting up for the the, the, the next Poison yeah. Clan album, you know? With the whole cast. Yeah. Yeah, that's going to be cold, too. That's starting out good. You say that a lot of people, you know, it's kind of like outcasts when you see, like, groups kind of, like, split up. You kind of think that they beefing, right? But even then, when you went right. to when you went and did Poison Instrumentality, I think you right. you and Deb was in, split, right? yeah. When you got you and De Deb split, you guys were in the same music video. Yeah. How were you able to keep that? You know, even though Poison Clan is not, I guess, quote unquote, no pun intended, a clan, yeah. but you guys still stay stay together. Yeah, but I mean, we we was homies, man. We ain't, listen, man. I, I support them dudes no matter what, man. And they they've always done the same with me and. You know, we was together before rap, doing rap, and then rap ain't finna uh, split this up. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah, I don't even really think it was a dollar amount. We we always get to yeah. it. That, I, but that's just us or our understanding the yeah. way we rocking. You know? Yeah, because even when I did that, they went and did their home team thing, and I was like, "Shoot, I'm rocking with you." Yeah. So we on the road together. You know, it's just two monies instead of one. I think people need to. I think people need to understand that just yeah. because. You're not with them every day. It's right. not. It's not hate or nothing. It's just, yeah. it's just two different paths. Two sometimes. different paths. Yeah, no, exactly. Wrong. And you're supporting. That's the thing too. A lot of people think if you don't support somebody, then exactly, or you're not with them 24 seven. Right. Oh yeah, like oh, they they split. Then the narrative changes, and then no, you're trying to build a yeah. beef that doesn't even exist. That's so, that. Um, I'm glad you put them on uh, sure. paparazzi magazine. TMZ. Yeah. TMZ. Yeah, all that kind of stuff. Yeah. What the magazine? Was. That's the inquiry yeah. and stuff yeah, back yeah. then. That's the you know, but but the hey, streets know the streets know. Yeah, the street, you no, know, the street saw us, you know? Yeah, I remember when they them did pick it up. All them boys came to me like, boy, Jay, your homeboy's not boy, okay now. <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, that's right, my homeboy. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, coming at me like, oh, boy, you better watch yeah. out. They come, but I'm like, for what? These are my guys. Yeah, yeah. Everybody winning. Everybody, yeah, everybody winning. Me, you know? I'm gone. I'm taking as long them. As, they they not going. as long as y'all not beefing it on them. I'm glad you said it, because this is what I used to tell dudes, right? Now, this is back in the on Wednesday, and I said, Listen, man, the day is me, tomorrow it'll be you, tomorrow it'll be that. The name of the game is to stay down and do your part, play your part. Yeah. Like, this day, man, they moved Sam Rothstein in the kitchen, but he was still, his his split of the pie was still his yeah. split of the pie. Whatever, you know what I'm saying? The business go how it go. The business, you know what I'm saying? Titles is just titles, man. Yeah. Profit split. Let's talk about that. <laughs> the a, lot bust talk, a lot of people don't talk about that. I don't know. I feel like I got everything that I want to say. I, I want to know about with, with the Immortal Drop. Is there going to be any Poison Clan merch or JT Money merch? Yes, yeah, so I always some Poison to Clan to merch. Me, Listen, and you can get yours right now at www.undeniablemusicgroup.com. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> Again, www.undeniablemusicgroup.com. Besides the merch, is there anything else, like any other project you're working on besides outside of the music? Man, it's gonna keep falling out of my pocket, man. I'm sorry. Poison. I'm just gonna let you see it. You gonna see it? Yeah, yeah. You gonna see it? We gonna blur that out. Y'all don't tell nobody. We gonna blur that out, like right? You just gotta blur it. Like cops. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> no, 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 no. This all is. It's coming from my own dispensary. <laughs> yeah, man. I ain't gonna put it out on the screen, but you know what I'm saying? Poison Clan's man. He's already getting loud, yeah. and that's been old. Oh yeah, that felt like yeah. I'm gonna let my old. man them get that. Though. Matter of <laughs> fact. That's not when you are. You split out with your gal, bro. Right. I keep this one. All right. Yeah, for sure, man. for sure. That's appreciate it. Not the work. Yeah, <laughs> appreciate it. Appreciate it. Um, before we end, I do want to shout out. Uh, before you oh, end, oh, oh. I've got something else coming. He said, hold on. The brother. documentary. All right, remember we talked about, because they freak niggas, they freak niggas. Yeah. My version is my version, which is going to be the true. But we got a documentary, and it's, you know, who that, the JT Money story, the documentary coming soon. 
uh, it's everything gonna tie into the the rule of the moral. That's yeah. what we, it's, it's like. We are working all these things consecutively, yeah. So we can try to get a big bang. You just made me think of something because I, you know, watching. I don't know if you've seen it, like the Kanye West documentary. Genius. What, yeah, and like, how do you have someone always walking around with you, documenting everything? Or? Not really. When when me and nephew be sliding, nephew try to catch what he can catch. Breeze sliding, he catch with yeah. media base slide. You know the dawn. You know we mm -hmm. get it, but sometimes we be in the moment and we like, damn, boy, you should have caught that. That, yeah, that yeah, was yeah. the natural. So we ain't got our guys just following. Yeah, like when we going to do it, we going to do it, like with intent. Mm -hmm. But boy, if y'all catch some of this natural stuff, <laughs> this raw, this uncut stuff. Forget about it. <laughs> you still doing push-ups um, during your shows? Well, I just started back. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh, yeah. I, got, I got these shows coming up, and they want Uncle to look like he's been exercising. They don't want me to look. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I got to do my part. You know what I'm saying? Working with me, man. And I got to walk. <laughs> it's not an event tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. For sure. yeah um, you know, uh, Miami Heat halftime. I don't know if I can talk about it, but we're doing the Heat halftime. Me and a few of my other brothers from Miami. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Legendary shit. Yeah, that's gonna be not too many, but not too many people could touch that hardwood. Right. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's that crazy. Was crazy. My bad. My bad. My bad. My bad. Okay, no, my, bad my bad. <laughs> my bad. That was crazy. <laughs> my bad. That was one. Uh oh. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> Listen. Uh, be before we end, I do want to shout out nat dot guilty not guilty on Instagram. Uh, she is a de criminal defense attorney. Um, she's usually in the gym fighting, but sometimes she's fighting for people, um, in the courtroom. Uh, if you ever stuck up in a gym, let her know that the Come of Miami or the Lyric Lounge sent you. So, Dope. yeah, I don't know if you want to add anything. Dope. Oh, no. Shout yeah, out. Yeah, yeah. I'm still yeah, like a, a kid in the cage, so I've been smiling the whole time. Shout out. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> As OG in the game, what keeps you dropping music? Uh, just my love for, and then... Yeah, just the love for the music, but then I, I'm hoping I can inspire somebody. You know what yeah. I'm saying? I, I, yeah, I'm still looking for, all right, I ain't found a reason to retire yet. Okay, LeBron. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. I'll tell you but that. But do artists, do artists really retire? Because I feel like you, even if you're not listening to music, you still got your pause, hand in the music. Yeah, hopefully, I think you should, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? And that's your way of uh, still giving back and helping mm -hmm. the next one, you know, more yeah. and building something up. So I really think we should, and just, because people are like, well, Jay, who you on? You ain't put out nobody. And I'm like, well, shoot, I helped all of them that y'all like from the beginning. Yeah. You know, I was down there on everybody's first album. Their yeah. first album. Hey, man, the first one, you know what I'm saying? But I, I do my thing, man. Or oh, I gave them a piece of advice to go forward. Yeah. <laughs> But yeah, but I think you should. I, I don't know. I just think it's part of the game, you know, evolution. Yeah. Uh, that's a, that was a good question. That's part of immortality. Yeah. So with all these new artists coming out, how do you stay true to your brand? Just doing that. Just truth. That's what the JT stands for. for. Yeah. Just mm. truth and always on the money. But yeah, I mean, when they come out, that's them coming out. You know, I'm already out here. Welcome to the field. Welcome to the, you know what I'm saying? Some running yard you know, shit. So, yeah. yeah, man, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, man, y'all. If y'all on that boy, y'all just do it over there. If y'all down with this real G, this love game, because it's all about the love and the the, the growth. Yeah. You know, welcome, welcome to our side, man. Get your commissary and all, man. Yeah. I get you a bag when you come in here. <laughs> you know I do got one last thing before you. I want to. I, I I don't know if we can, but if you could drop a verse for us, probably the ver the first verse that we got on the lyric lounge. The Even first, if, bro? yeah, or if it's a freestyle. Roll out the red carpet, let, let the view go too long. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, man. But I, I got, no, nah, I don't know if I want to do that. I got some favorite verses, though. I don't know if I want to throw nothing away because I don't want to kill the uh, the legacy of what I'm about to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah freestyling, I freestyling. All right. War scars, penitentiary bars on my mind. Stay my pants controlled by my heart, so I rhyme great. Every every year they count the best 50 MCs, but not once had them cowards ever mentioned JT. Fuck you, busters. Critics ain't got to love me. I'm a rapper, not a rapper. Chumps can't touch me. I've been in more than 30. Only playing to win. All I ever drop a seat. I'ma do it again. See, I'm a hit maker, a no shit taker. My suckers get vapors. When I spit flavors, I'm on fire. 
Crock City, nigga, what? We'll fuck nigga up for fucking with them bugs. Court, time, and jail, don't matter. Long as you make it to hell, don't matter. Yeah. Respect the king, respect the pimp. Nigga, peer point blank, just respect my shit. Why do fuck niggas cross they nuts? Hating on the player because they can't come up. Tell me, why the fuck niggas cross they nuts? Want to hate on the player because they can't come up? Yeah, why the, yeah. <laughs> when grown folks talking, shut the uh, yeah, but that's one of my favorite records oh. that slept on. It's called Why Cross from Return of the Bitch, in case you ain't know. Go get it. <laughs> Listen, man. I, we got JT Money. It's your boy, Matt. Yeah. Your boy, Jay. We out.